Hi guys! If you are like us and sometimes need to pick up the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, you most certainly notice that there is no easy way to grab it. We can hold it by the base, but the print pad is somewhat in the way, and we definitely cannot hold it by the X axis. So we end up grabbing it by the top of the Z axis. But even that is not an easy task, and can easily slip out and fall down. The guys from Big Tree Tech now have the perfect solution for our A1 Mini, the Panda Hue OTG. You want to know more? Then stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, as we mentioned before the intro, Big Tree Tech launched the Panda Hue OTG. The name does not say much about what it is, but it's a handle for the A1 Mini and it's made from aluminum which makes it robust and lightweight. But this is more than just a handle. It also has some LED lights on top and an easy to replace relief panel that we can customize with our own logo or image. Inside the box we can find a QR code with the link for the wiki page. A couple of cable holders, a couple of cables, the handle, the light unit and a small metal piece. The parts are very well made and have the same color as the printer's top cover, so they look as they belong to the printer. The light module is where the handle will be attached to. It's all metal and on one of the sides is the small connector for the power cable. At the top is the 3D printed relief panel. It's secured by a couple of magnets at the corners. The power cable for the light module is split in two. This is because the first one can connect directly to the Panda Branch Plus. The Branch Plus can provide independent power to external devices such as the Hue OTG. The Panda Branch Plus uses two pin connectors, while the printer uses four pin connectors. So if we want to connect the light module directly to the printer, we need to connect a smaller cable in between. Ok, let's go ahead with the installation. First, we need to take the Z-axis top cover out by removing the screw at the front. Don't lose the screw as it will be needed later on. Next, we need to remove the white cover and to do that, we need to remove the three screws. These three screws will also be needed, so keep these as well. Now. Take the light module and remove the white panel, which is secured by magnets, and then place the module on top of the Z axis like this. Use the three screws to secure the light module. Ok, you can now place the white panel back on the light module. And then use the other screw to secure the small piece at the front. Place the handle and secure it with a couple of screws at the sides. Last but not least is the power connection, but before doing the connections, make sure the printer is turned off. Connect the cable to the light module and make sure the connector is properly inserted. Then connect the other end to the Panda Branch Plus. If you don't have the Panda Branch Plus, connect the smaller cable and then to one of the AMS connectors on the printer. There are a couple of cable holders that you can use to guide the cable down while keeping it away from the bed and spool. You can glue one cable holder at the top and the other at the bottom and arrange the cable. All done! The installation is now complete. Now we can easily pick up the printer by the handle. The light feature is actually a bonus because the handle is the most wanted thing. If we turn the printer on, the light module will light up and show the BQ letters. However, it's super easy to create a new relief panel and replace the stock one with our own design. 
For that, we can go to Maker World and use the lithophane generator in the Maker Lab section. Next, we select Colorful Litho without frame option. We import our image and then select the attribute and set the margin to zero. Then return to the size options. Set the width to 35 millimeters and manually adjust the frame until the height reaches 35 millimeters. Next, we click on export and select which printer we will use to print it. We then open Bamboo Studio and load the project. Click on the resize button and adjust the X and Y values to 35.35 millimeters. Okay, now it's ready to print. Once completed, we take the stock 3D printed piece out and push our design in. And then place it on the light module. And this is the result. Pretty cool, isn't it? And that's it, you guys. We hope this video was useful. We will see you guys next time. Bye!